inside the world's biggest passenger plane. The A380, which was first developed in 2007, is the world's largest passenger aircraft. While production of the model stopped in 2021, it continues to be employed by airlines like Emirates, Singapore Airlines, and British Airways. There were 254 units constructed in total. At 73 meters in length and with an 80 meter wingspan, the Airbus A380 is the world's largest ever passenger aircraft. It has a maximum capacity of 853 and typical seating between four classes of 545. Traveling at speeds of over 700 miles per hour, this huge jet can transport you between countries in utter opulence. But how exactly is life inside an A380? Global giant British Airways runs a navy of these feats of engineering, setting the standard for economy relaxation in the industry. Passengers will be immediately met with a double-width staircase towards the front of the plane, one of the first of its type and of course leading to the A380's renowned upper deck. Throughout the cabin, LED lights give the most energy-efficient lighting solution. These can be managed to mimic different scenes or moods, such as sunset and sunrise, to help preclude fatigue among passengers, assisting with the changing time zones. Plenty of natural light also takes over the cabin during daylight hours through the outstandingly large windows, which are larger than most other aircrafts. The passengers will experience the more roomy feel of the cabin, and because on the main deck the fuselage is still curving outwards, exterior seats benefit from extended shoulders, perfect for those flying next to a stranger in an awkward middle seat. The economy class has enough space for 299 passengers. Each and every seat, even for flyers with the cheapest of tickets, features a USB charging port to keep smartphones and tablets charged on those longer haul flights, while a further 170 seats are split between the remaining classes, including 97 reserved for business class. These seats are split between the lower and upper decks. Interestingly, the upper deck is wider again at 70 inches more than a 747's upper deck, helping to create a truly airy and spacious ambience. Up here, 55 World Travelers Plus seats make use of the extra space as well as a larger screen and two USB ports. In premium economy, the area is above the midway point. The fuselage begins to curve back, tapering inwards. It goes up and rather than cutting off all the important headroom. British Airways moved the seats inward, which in turn made room for seat level lockers which are perfect for storing things like laptops and handbags. All seats are finished with a luxurious cream-colored quilted design leather. In fact, premium economy seats even boast retractable leg rests that emerge from under the seat to assist passengers in falling asleep more easily. A general cream and polished wood theme continues through the entire cabin, striking the perfect balance between luxury and opulence and a clean and open design language. Electric window shades black out unwanted light. Spend a few hundred more and you're in for a treat. A waterfall sits at the top of the staircase, recessed into the wall like a piece of modern art. A waterfall with real flowing water on board an aircraft flying at 40,000 feet. It's time to disembark from your Emirates flight and join forces with Etihad Airways. The whole experience starts off at home or at your favorite five-star hotel. From here, your own personal Etihad chauffeur will transport you to the airport in a luxury limousine. A private concierge guides you past the check-in desk and directly to your private lounge. Because, of course, they've already handled everything for you. The meal included in the package will be enjoyed in a private area. A multi-course meal created especially for you based on your personal preferences. The passenger will then move on to the spa facilities and maybe just a short massage to help soothe and relieve tension before the long flight. When it's time to fly, a personal butler awaits, 
having prepared for you some of your favorite entertainment and food to relish over the course of flight. The onboard cabin, called the residence, entails three rooms for an exclusive use of top-paying guests. The lounge is for the flyer to relax and chill and enjoy food from the customized menu made by a personal chef. At the end of the small corridor lies a full-size double bed and a television. As the flight comes to an end, just before breakfast, you have the option to take a warm shower in your own personal bathroom area with complimentary toiletries. There's a team of 22 cabin crew who on long-haul flights work in rotation so that they can rest. In an underground world, there's also a large living area and a selection of bunk beds to provide the crew with privacy and comfort. The pilots of the A380 really do deserve the rest. They must all be trained on ground handling specifics to the A380, just thanks to its sheer size. An 80-meter wingspan makes taxiing a bit of an undertaking, but to assist the pilot, two cameras can be employed while we enjoy looking through the cameras as a matter of fun. The pilots rely on the ground-facing camera to locate the nose wheel and keep it on track guiding lines and tail-mounted cameras to keep an eye on the hive of activity that's always occurring at an airport. Pilots are often trained to safely fly the beast in the air, which can weigh a maximum of around 570 tons. Each 40-meter wing weighs 40 tons, the same as 20 large family cars. A unique engine design allows the plane to approach at much lower speeds than something like 747-400. This means an overall quieter experience for the passenger. Have you ever flown in the world's largest plane? Maybe one day, when you do, you'll realize the quality and design inside was nothing like you'd experienced in the air before.